السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We're starting lesson session three in the Arabic one course. Last in the last few classes we went through the long vowels. In this session we will go through the short vowels. Last in the last few sessions we went through the long vowels alif, ya, and wow. The a the E and the U. In this session we'll go through the short vowels A, I, U. In Arabic there are only three short vowels. A, U, I. Each one corresponds to the in pronunciation to the to one of the three long vowels, the A, the U, and the E. A, U, E. They are pronounced like the e eh in the word pat, the u uh in the word put, and the i eh in the word pit. The short vowel a eh is called a fatha, and it is indi indicated by a short, right, slanting line, as you can see here. That's the a. Eh. The short vowel a eh, called the fatha. It would be above the letter uh, it follows. The short vowel u uh, is called a dhamma, and it is indicated by a small wow written above the letter, as you can see here. And the last of the of the short vowels, the short vowel i, eh, is called a kasra. And it is written as a short slant in line below the letter, as you can see here. Now I'll show you some examples of the short vowels on the letters. As you can see in the chart, here is the fatha, the short vowel a, eh, right there, above the dal. So the sound would be da, as you can see in the chart. The the dhamma short vowel u uh, above the dal the sound would be du and the kasra short vowel i uh, would be uh, here uh, uh, below the dal would be d so da du d da du d short vowel da du d not da du d but da du d Short vowels here. The example you can see it on the scene, the fatha above the scene, so it would make the sound s. Here, the dhamma, the the vowel u, short vowel u, here above the scene, sound would be s. And s, and the short vowel uh, e e, which is called the fatha, or which is called the kasra. Sorry here below the scene sound would be c c s su c s su c s su c here another example with the ra the ra above it the fatha so it make the sound ra here the ra above it the dhamma make the sound ru here above uh, below it the kasra make the sound ri Ra, ru, re. Ra, ru, re. So these are just short vowels. Very, very simple. Here we can see the example of the noon. Na. Here's the fatha, the fatha above the noon, making the sound na. Here the dhamma above the noon, making the sound nu. 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 And here below the noon is the kasra, making the sound ni. Na, nu, ni. As opposed to na. Nu, ne, na, nu, ni, na, nu, ni. That would be the long vowel, but the short vowel is na, nu, ni, na, nu, ni. So this concept is very simple, just like we did the long vowels. These are simply the short vowels. Here's the fatha making the sound de. That line right there. That's the short vowel uh. That. Uh, small um, 
wow makes the sound oo and that uh, line ab below the letter would make the sound e e short vowel of the yeah which is e short vowel e is that line below the letter it would be represented as the line below the letter which is called a fatha so the concept is very simple <coughs> The short vowels are added to the consonants in the same way that long vowels were in the previous examples. For example, here, the dal above it, the fatha, the ra above it, the fatha, and the seen above it, the fatha, the fatha making the sound eh. So add, add them all together. Da, the dal with the fatha makes the sound da. The ra with the fatha makes the sound ra. Ra. The scene with the fatha makes the sound sa. Da ra sa. Da ra sa. There it is. Da ra sa. The dal, here you can see it in full form. The, the short vowel a. Eh. The ra, short vowel a. Eh. The scene, short vowel a. Eh. Add, add them all together. Da ra sa. So it's very simple. We'll have some practice now so we can get used to these uh, new concept, this new concept of the short vowels. It's very easy, inshallah. I had no problem with it when I was studying. And inshallah, when I studied it uh, this past semester, and inshallah, you will not have any trouble with it. So now we'll have our session practice. We'll do the first three rows. We have four rows total. So we should do as we did every practice before. You write the word, the English form on the top and the Arabic, for, a Arabic form on the bottom. Pause your video, go through all three rows and we'll go through them together once you're done. So pause your video and go ahead and do them. When once you're done, continue on with the video. We'll go through them together. Now we'll go through the words together. The first word, the scene with the dhamma, su, the ra, kasra, ra, ri, the dal, and fatha, da, suri da. Next word, the noon with fatha, na, the dal with fatha, da. Ra with a fatha ra. Nada ra. Nada ra. The next word. The scene with the dhamma. Su. The noon with the kasra. Ni. The dal with the fatha. Da. Suni da. Suni da. We'll go to, on to the third row. I'm getting it zoomed in so you can see it clearly. I hope you could see it for your assignment whilst you were doing it. Now, I'm not going to write all the words for this uh, practice, as you could, as you notice, because uh, there is no need at this point for me to write it. It's enough for me to go through it with you, because the letters we're using are the same letters we have been using for the last two sessions. So, there, uh, you should be used more used to them at this point, at least. Uh, able to recognize them it won't really make any difference if I write them or not so I will not be writing them for this practice but I may uh, likely write uh, I may write with you along with you whilst going through it together uh, for other letters that are more difficult to write so let's continue on the dal with the dhamma do the ra with the kasra re the scene with the with the fatha, se, together, do risa, do risa. The next word, sin, fatha, se, ra, fatha, ra, the dal, fatha, da, sarada, sarada. Next word, the noon with the dhamma, nu, the dal with the kasra, de. The ra with the fatha ra. 
Nudira. Nudira. Next word. The scene with the Fatha. Sa. The noon with the Fatha. Na. The dal with the Fatha. Da. Sanada. We'll go on to the third row. I'm zoomed in. You should have did the practice as it is. So first row, you wrote it in English. And then the bottom row, should have wrote it in Arabic. You must write it in Arabic, rather. Because this is a reading and writing course, you need to keep on doing the assignments and the practice together so you can learn. Third row. The dal and the kasra. D. The ra with the fatha. Ra. The scene with the dhamma. Su. Di ra su. Di ra su. So this is a very simple concept. You're just adding the short vowels with the consonants. Nothing more, really. We're not doing anything else. Sa. Or the scene with the fatha. Sa. The ra with the kasra. Ra. The dal with the dhamma. Da. Let's add them together. Sa ra da. Sa ra da. Or sa ri da. The next word, the noon with the dhamma. The dhamma makes the sound n -u, u. So together it would be nu. The dal with the dhamma. What what does the what sound did we say the dhamma makes? It makes the sound u. 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 Short u sound. The short the short sound of the wow. The wow we said makes the sound u. The dhamma here. The little wow, you can see it, makes the sound oo. Short wow sound. Short oo sound. So oo. The dal with the dhamma. Do. Ra with the kasra. Or sorry, ra with the fatha. This here. So you do not make the same mistake. It's called a fatha. Fatha. Makes the sound eh, as we said. So together. Let's add them all together. Nudura. Nudura. Not Ah, as I just did, because that would make it a long vowel. It's nu dura, nu dura, short a eh sound, not a eh or ra or du nu. That would make it long vowels. We're working with short vowels. Nu dura. The next word, the scene with the kasra. Si, the noon with the dhamma. Nu. The dal with the kasra, di. Let's add them all together. Sin, sin nudi, sin nudi, sin nudi. Okay, now we'll go on to the last um, row and we'll have you time to do them and then we'll go through. So here's the last row of our first practice for this. Session 3, Arabic 1 course. So you should do them. Pause your video. Do them. And then continue on with your video so we can go through them together. Now we'll go through them so you can check how you did. See how you did. You should have did them. You should not continue without doing them because it's pointless. First word. The dal with the fatha, da. The ra with the dhamma, ru. The seen with the fatha, sa. Add them together. Da, ru, sa. Da, ru, sa. The next word. The seen with the kasra makes the sound si. The ra with the kasra, ri. The dal with the dhamma, du. Add them together. Sarridu, sarridu. Next word, nudara, the noon with the dhamma, nu, the dal with the fatha, da, the ra with the kasra, ra, or ri, sorry, the ra with the kasra, ri, so let's add them together, the nu, nu, da, ri, nudari, you should combine them all to keep it smooth and uh, clear, because we don't read in English, apple. We read apple. Straight, clearly, smoothly. Now we're just starting, so it's okay to go little by little as you did when you were younger for your language. But 
you should read it over until it becomes smooth so you can read it smoothly the seen next word the seen plus the fatha sa the noon plus the dhamma nu and the dal plus the dhamma du san san du san udu san udu san udu san udu san udu smoothly san udu san udu that would be the last of this uh, practice for this uh, or this uh, practice lesson that we did this is the last row now we'll go on to dictation we have four words for dictation so write one through four on your paper and we'll go through dictation So four words for dictation. First word, I'll read it three times. Each word give you some time to write it. Then go on to the next word. Then we'll go through them together at the end. This is like a type of quiz type of thing. First word, surida, surida, surida. The next word. Ne, ne dara. Ne dara. We're using all the short vowels, no long vowels. Ne dara. The fourth or the third word Sun Sunida 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 Last word Varusa 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 Now we'll go through them together so you can check how you <clears throat> now we'll go through the words, the four words of dictation. As you can see in front of you, so you can check your answers. First word was su rida, the seen connecting to the ra with the lamma on the top and the kasra on the bottom of the ra, lamma on the top of the seen su ri da. The fatha on the top of the dal not connecting to the ra. The next word Nadara Nadara The next word was Nadara Nadara The noon with the Fatha The Dal with the Fatha The Ra with the Fatha The third word was Sunida The scene with the Dhamma on the top of it The noon The scene connecting to the noon With the Dhamma on the top of the scene Connecting to the noon with the kasra on the bottom of the noon the noon in its connecting form connecting to the dal with the fatha on top of the dal sunida the next word was darusa the dal not connecting to the ra because dal is not a connector so it does not connect any letter after it the dal with the fatha on the top da the ra not connecting to the seen because ra is not a connector so it does not connect letters after it Da rusa. The next word was da rusa. So dal, fatha on the top. Ra, bamma on the top of the ra. The scene 
with the fatha and the sin. Da rusa. Now we'll go on to the next concept of our session today, which is the sukun. Now we're going on to the concept of the sukun. Very simple, not complicated at all, at all, as long as it is explained in a simple way. For me, when I was studying this, this past semester at the university, it was very confusing and I really did not understand it at all, or very little if any. I asked my teacher, uh, my live session teacher, and the live session about it, and he made it a little bit clearer, but I got, I understood it more as I went through the course, but I'm going to keep it simple and explain it. It's very easy. There's nothing to it whatsoever. The chart may look complicated and overwhelming, but it's nothing really, nothing. The sukun is a special sub symbol written over a consonant to indicate that that consonant does not have a short vowel on it. For example, the dal. It is pronounced as de. The da is pronounced as da. Da. That's it. Not di or du or da. Just da. So here you can see. There's this symbol here, that circle symbol up there. That's called a sukun. So when you see that on a consonant, that just means there is no harakat. Harakat means long vowel, uh, short vowel, sorry. It means this symbol means there is no short vowel on that letter that's all nothing else so if you see this kasra here with the dad following it it would simply be add add them together add nothing nothing changed because there is no cons er, there's no short vowel on this dal consonant and as you can see indicated by the sukun the sukun is just showing us that there's no short vowel on the consonant. That's all it is. Very, very simple. So let's go through, through these examples. Here you see the dal with the sukun. What sound does it make? Da. Ed. 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 There's no movement. It's trapped. So you see the fatha here, bring it together with the dal, it would the sound would be ad. Just the dal would be id id id. There's no movement, just d d id d. Not d or d or do, just d. The the sound of the dal. Here the ra, the sound would be ra 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 ra. The sound of the ra ra. So it would not be ra as if it had a fatha on it or ru or ri, just ra. Ra. Or if it was uh, followed by a fatha, it would be ar, ar, as you can see here in the example. So the concept is very simple. The chart is very, makes it look complicated, but it really isn't. It's very much nothing. just means there's no short vowel on the consonant or on the vowel on the yeah on the consonant just means there's no short vowel on the consonant nothing else very simple very basic if there's no sukun it still means there's no consonant on the vowel or on the it still means there's no vowel on the consonant as long as the as you do not see any vowel on it the sukun is just trying to further, uh, further explain that there's no short vowel on the consonant for words that may not be very clear otherwise. That's all it is. We'll have some practice with it. It's very simple. There's nothing to it. The long vowel a is actually preceded by a fatha plus the alif. 
the U, well, Dhamma plus the Wow, and the E, Kasra, and the plus the Ya. Since Alif is always preceded by Fatha, Wow, by Dhamma 90% of the time, and Ya, by Kasra 90% of the time, the short vowels are not written in modern vowelled Arabic text. So in modern books, you will not find the short vowels written. This is why the concept of the sukun is necessary. Because in, in the common books and text, in modern books and text, you will not find the short vowels written on the consonants. It will just be the scene and whatever letters without the short vowels, but it will be understood that there's supposed to be a short vowel. They, they understand it because they know the words. The Arabs, the Arab people, or the people who speak Arabic fluently or know the language, know the words, so they know what's intended even without writing the short vowels on it. Like if you were to put a sentence, the boys read book. Wrote a sentence, the boys read book, and you deleted some letters like the, the E and the word the, the O and the word boys the e and the word red and the, and deleted the double o in the word book a fluent speaker of english can still indicate and understand that this sentence sa would say the boys read book he understands it he, he he gets it even though there's some gaps in the sentence likewise a uh, fluent arab speaker or arab who who speaks the language fluently and knows the language and reads it fluently does not need the 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 short vowels written over the consonants when reading uh, so that's why they do not write it in modern text we're learning it so we can understand the concept so I hope that it's clear and not uh, confusing The alif is preceded by the dhamma here, as you can see. Here, it's preceded by the or by the the fatha. Sorry, the alif is preceded by the fatha. That makes the sound a. So if you see the fatha and then the alif, that just a. That's all. And if you don't see the fatha and the alif, it's still a, but. Technically and officially, it should be with the fatha and the alif, making the sound a. If you do not see the alif in just the fatha on a, on a letter, on a consonant, say like the sin or the dal, then it would be the sound da instead of da. In the ancient texts like the Quran and the prophetic traditions, the preceding short vowels will be written. So this is why we're learning them. So here you can see the word Sudani. Sudani. So see here the scene with the short vowel U or the Dhamma and then followed by the Wow. We said this makes the sound short, so short vowel sound U and this makes the sound ooh so officially you're supposed to write originally the short vowel ooh and the long vowel which would still make the sound ooh ooh sorry long ooh so written like that makes the long ooh that's the technical way you should write it and here the alif preceded by the fatha ah that's the technical way you should write it but if we put just the, the alif without the fatha, it's still a, ah, and the wa without the dhamma before, it's still u. It's just that's the official, supposed way you're supposed to do it, the real way you're supposed to do it. And here, the kasra before the the ya, ah, making the sound e, e. Officially, that's the way you're supposed to write it. You're supposed to put the short vowel and the long vowel after it to make the long vowel sound e, e. If you didn't have that, it still makes the sound E, but that's the official way you're supposed to write it. 
without the long vowels there, it would have been just su de ni instead of su de ni So the concept is simple, and I hope you're clear with it. We'll go on to some practice so you can get uh, more clear with this new concept. <laughs> Now we'll have uh, the practice, so you pause your video, do the practice, and we'll go through them once you're done. So now we'll go through the first three rows of our practice of the Sukun. First word. Sard, sard, sard. So you see here, seen the fatha makes the sa, the ra, the sukun. No movement on the ra, and there's no short vowel, so it doesn't make ra, ru, ri. It's just r, 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 just its sound, and then the dal, just its sound. Sard, sard. That's what sukun is. That's it. So it's very simple. It's just indicating that there's no short vowel on the consonant. That's all. Because, as we said, in the typical or modern text today, they would write the word without any short vowels. So in order to show which letters have sh short vowels on them uh, or not, they would put the sukun to show if it does not have a short vowel otherwise they just leave it as it is because they don't need to put the short vowels they know the language enough that they know the words and they know how it's spelled that they don't need to put the short vowels they can figure it out but the sukun is just to show which, which um, letters do not have any short vowel on it so it would be pronounced the same. Ra, da, same thing. No change. It's just to show there's no short vowel on it. So it's very basic, very simple. Next word. Nader. Nader. Again. The dal with the sukun is just the same sound. Da. The same sound as the dal, which is da. The ra, same sound as the ra. Ra. Nothing changes. It's the same sound. It's just to show that there's no short vowel on it. Because as we said in the text, they do not put short vowels on their words, on their letters. They just keep them as it is. So this is just to indicate and to show them so they know which letters have short vowels on them and which don't. The next word, sand. The scene, the fatha sa nd, sand. Next word, darasa. Darasa. Here, the ra with the sukun. Same sound. It doesn't change the sound. It's still ra. Ra. That's the sound that ra makes. Ra. If it didn't have a sukun, and we were reading modern text, it could be understood to have a, a short vowel on it, like the short vowel, the short vowel a. So it could be understood to have ra, or ru, or ri, depending on the context of the sentence and the word. They would have understood it, depending on the context and the, the the word. They would have understood what sh short vowels on it, depending on what it's spell spelling, what it, the word seems to be spelling, and they would understand it. So the sukun is just to show there's no short vowel on it. So ra, darasa, no change, same sound. Here, sard, sardu, the scene with the fatha, sa, the ra. Sukun ra. The the dal with the dhamma do sardu sardu. If the ra didn't have a sukun, it could be saradu or sarudu or saridu. Depending on the context, of course. In order to to put the the short vowel you would need to see what the word is in order to automatically know which short vowel would be on it. This would be for people who are more advanced. Next word, 
نادري 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 the next word سندا سندا here again the noon with the sukun still na the same sound the noon makes na that's the sound it's still gonna make with the sukun it's just showing that it's not na or nu or ni or na nu ni it's just na same sound na sound uh, noon makes na n n n n san sanda sanda if it had a, a short vowel would have been would have could have been sanada or sanuda or sanida the sh the sukun makes it just n n n the sound noon makes n sanada third row nadrusu nadrusu here the dal with the sukun the sound makes d just the same sound as the as the dal would normally make the sound d d d d not d or do or d just d d d ad ad d d ad ad is nad Ned. So you can you can understand the sukun further and more clearly if you put a uh, short vowel before it. So you can hear the sound the uh, the the letter with the sukun should be is putting a short vowel before the sukun letter. So ed, ned, rusu, nesruda. Next word, nas ruda, nas ruda. The next word, nan duru, nan duru. The next word, nus, nus nidu, nus nidu. Here the scene, s, the scene makes the sound s, so it wouldn't be s. If it had a short vowel, it would have been s or su or si, but it's just s. Nus nidu. This is just the sound that the letter originally makes, which is s s s s. If you put it uh, after a short vowel, fatha s. That's the sound it makes s s s s. Nus nidu. Go on to the last row. Here's the last row of this practice. Do it, please, and then, so pause your video, do it, and then continue on, and we'll go through it once you're done. We'll go through them now, the first word, the noon with the lamma, no, the dal with the fatha, da, nuda, rus, rusi, nuda, rusi, nuda, rusi, nuda, rusi. Nudarsi. The next word, the noon with the kasra, ni. Ni surda. Ni surda. Third word, noon with the fatha, na. Noon with the kasra, ni. Na, nid, na nid, ri. Na nid, ri. Na nid, ri. Ri. I need ri. Last word. The noon with the kasra ni. With noon with the kasra ni, followed by the scene. Nis nisa, followed by the noon. Nisan do. Nisan do. Noon with the sukun, making the sound n n n n n n. Not n or nu or ni, just n n. Not na or nu or ni. Na nu ni that would have a vowel on it. It has no vowel. That's why sukun is is uh, there to represent. It has no vowel. So n. Nas nasa ndu nasa nas 
نسندو 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 Now we'll go on to dictation. We'll have four words for dictation. So one through four on your paper, we'll go through the dictation. First word, dors. 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 Second word, sard, sard, sard. Third word, nether, nether, nether. Fourth word, send, send, send. Go through them again, just in case you didn't hear them. Dars, first one, Dars. Second one, Sard. Third one, Nether. And the fourth one, send. Now we'll go through them. We'll go through them now. The first one was Dars. Written as you can see in front of you, Dars. The Dal with the Fatha, Da. The Ra with the Sukun. No, no movement. It's, it's like trapped. Because if it had a Fatha or a short vowel, it would be Ra. Or a Dhamma, Ru. Or Kasra, Ri. But it's just r, r, r. Dars. 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 The same thing with the scene here. This is the Sukun above the raw. Here's the sukun above the scene. If it had a, a short vowel on it, the scene, it would be, it could be sa. Short vowel, a, sa, or su, or si. The fatha, the dhamma, or the kasra. But no, it has a sukun, so dars, dars. Now we'll go on to the second word. The second word, was sard written the scene and uh, the second the scene connecting to the raw then the dal seen with the fatha sa rd sard sard remember the sukun makes shows that there's no short vowel on that consonant that it's above that it's under likewise with the dal so sard d sard sard Third word was nether.
Nether. Nether. No short vowel on the dal. No short vowel on the ra. So d. Doesn't make da or d or d. Just d. Ad. D. Ad. Ad. So if you put the uh, short vowel before it to make the sound ed that's how you can tell how it should sound ned r neder neder put the short vowel before it so you can get a better listen of how it should sound without a vowel on it so to put it to put the short vowel before it to hear how it should sound without a short vowel on it so it would be ed that that sound ed ed that's how it should sound without a short vowel on it. Nether. <coughs> Go on to the last word. It was send. Sand, sand, and sand, ed, sand, sand, sand. So I hope you did well in your dictation. We'll have. Uh, well, what's coming up next is quite a large practice. I'm not sure if we should do it now or sh if we should leave it to next session. <coughs> uh, we'll see. <coughs> now we'll go on to our session three quiz. We have five questions. Now you can do the first two questions so pause your video, do the first two please, and w once you're done continue on with the video so you can finish and go on to the last three questions. So now you should have paused your video, did them, and now we'll go on to the next two questions. Now you pause your video, do them, and we'll go on to the last question. You should have now paused your video, now we'll go on to the last question. And once we're done, we'll go through the answers. So now do the last one, pause your video, do the last one, and once you're done, continue on with the video and we'll go through the answers together so you can see how you did. You should not wait until I go through the answers and then do it because that's pointless. This is a quiz. You need to go through the session, the lessons, the practice, the dictation, and the session quizzes to see how you do. So now do it, please. And once you're done, continue on with the video so we can go through the answers. So you can see how you're doing with this course.
Now we'll go on to our session three quiz. Uh, sorry, the answers to the session three quiz. First question, the answer was C. Here. The second question, the answer was D. The third question, the answer was C. The fourth question, the answer was D. The fifth question, the answer was A. So it was a very simple, basic quiz. I hope you did well. And I hope that you found it easy. So th in this session, we learned a few new con concepts. Just to recap and to review. In this session, we learned the concept of the short vowels. And we learned the concept of the sukun. So, I hope that you found it beneficial and useful and that you comprehended and understood what you learned. Um, and uh, that I, I hope that you did well in your quizzes, your practice, your dictation, and that you are advancing with this course. We will continue on, inshallah, next class to practice some of the... We'll have practice to distinguish between the short vowels and the long vowels. So you can hear the differences and see the differences especially to hear the differences. Obviously, it's very easy to see. Most importantly is to hear the differences. Uh, so you can see th hear the difference between the long vowels and the short vowels and have some practice with it. And we will also have some writing exercises. And then we will move on to lesson two in our book that we are using. The book called Arabic Reading and Writing Made Easy by Sheikh Bilal Phillips. We'll go on to lesson two to go th to um, we'll go through the letters ba, the letters ta, the letter qaf, or sorry, the letter kaf, and the letter meme. So that will be next class, inshallah. Uh, until then, uh, we'll see you. And salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.